hopefully I'm not filming for very long because I'm actually just holding my phone up with the camera fa front camera facing me. So yeah, that goes to tell you what sort of filming setup I'm planning right now, which isn't much fun because I would like to get back into booktube. I would like to sort of try it mangatube. I love the community. I want to be part of it. I just really don't like editing videos, which is a problem. So I thought, why not give it a go when I have video ideas? I got a manga series recently that I would really like to film myself reading, so why not give it a go? And I can share some other related things with it. And I've also got Bookman next to me, you can kind of see it in the corner, which I'm gonna open soon, which I'm very excited for because most of it is arcs. Well, hey. <laughs> I'm sorry, the anger's probably just going to keep changing because like I said, I'm holding it, so it's paying me ass. But let's get into introducing this vlog. My name is Rosina, welcome to Lace Dagger Books, and I am doing an idle manga reading vlog. Specifically, Star Crossed by Junko. Now, I have read some of this manga before. I've read the first volume in a digital copy as an e-art for review on my blog, which I'll post the link to down below. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of it, I won't lie. It was a bit cringe and a bit uncomfortable. But when I was posting about Phantom of the Idol, which is one of my favourite manga series on Instagram the other day, someone did bring up Star Cross. Like, I know the anger was changed, that was weird, and this has hurt my arm. <laughs> um, but, so someone did bring it up, so I want to give it a go, and I thought, why not film myself or my progress reading? I can share a few other idol things, like, I have some concert DVDs that I kind of want to watch a bit of today, so I'll show you some of that. I might play some arm stars. It's all going to be, like, animated idols, fictional idols, game idols, that sort of thing. Uh, I do listen to some J-pop idol groups, like, when they pop up on Spotify. I have, like, a Japanese Spotify account, so they do pop up sometimes, and I do enjoy their music, but I don't know enough about them to really talk about them. However, I've really gotten into, like, my animated music projects and things like this recently. So I'd kind of like a chance to talk a bit more about them, maybe get some people some interested, as well as talk about things like idol manga, and obviously open my book in a minute, which I'm very excited to do. But what I think I might do first is choose which of the concert DVDs I'm gonna put on, because I have two. And yeah, let's see what I feel like watching today while I read the manga. Um, so these are the two Arm Stars concert DVDs. I have this is uh, one of the Starish stage ones, Prism Star. Uh, it says it's the scatter version. It's supposed to be nights on. That's what I cared about. Um, these ones, it's like yeah, okay. I can see the artist. Um, these ones, it's like you have holograms recording, so it is like seeing the actual concerts and stage. And they do a few more of those. Whereas this is the actual voice actors, which is kind of my favourite one. This one's also more recent. This was back during the original game before they split and it was a rhythm game. And this is 20, yeah, it says 2021. So it's more recent. So it's since the game. And you've got a uh, little romance. And I'm kind of obsessed with the live performance of little romance. It's just super cute. So if I watch that one, I will most likely show you a, you know, my favourite little uh, clip from that though. I won't really bad to have a sound on because happy elements will come for me and I don't want that. Um, I don't want the video to get deleted. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and the artist on that one. Like, yeah, so whereas that's holograms of the characters, this is the actual voice actors singing and performing. Um, if, I mean, if I went to Japan and either of these sort of were going, I would probably go to either, but I'd be more excited to go to a star stage for sure. So I think I'm probably going to put this one on again. I regularly watch the nice performances of this one because they make me happy so uh yeah we'll get to that in a bit i would like to read a little bit of manga first at least start reading this usually a volume of this size especially would only take me half an hour to read so technically this lot of reading should only be what a half an hour 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 and two hours long so technically I should better get this vlog done today. But I'm also like very likely to get distracted. And I'd like to kind of do a few other things in this. So we'll see how long it takes. Especially as I do want to get to my actual novel today as well. I'm reading... I can't remember what it's called. It's the latest Rockton book. Well, spin-off of the Rockton series by Kelly Armstrong. Um, If I'm still filming this after today, I'll show you. If not, it'll pop up on Instagram or Twitter at some point. Yeah, so... I guess I will open my book now and then I will read some of this and then later on put my concert on. Sorry, I know this is a terrible angle, but my hand was starting to hurt from holding the camera and I have things that are rough and I could need two hands, so yeah, we make do, we make do. I don't have it like a proper filming setup thing anymore. Um, but we'll start with the books I know I bought because obviously, yeah, I bought them, so I know what they are. So I bought these second hand on Instagram. Wait. Okay, ooh, dear. Let's see what's actually. There we go. I've got a copy of Windstorm, which I've been wanting to read for a while. 
a lot more recently I uh, I'm not going to go into what this book is about because I'm going to be honest I don't really remember so I probably won't go into detail about most of these but uh I know this is a romantic fantasy but it's kind of it's got goblins and things in it's kind of like the goblin market that sort of thing and after reading oh, I can't remember what it's called now uh I can't even remember the author's name that's so bad but there's a book based off the poem the goblin market that came out earlier this year that I've read and it was really good and it kind of encouraged me to want to chat over this series a bit more. So I've been trying to get the second hand and I finally have. And I also picked up The Daughter of Sparta by Claire M. Andrews, which is a YA historical kind of fantasy. Uh, again, I don't really know what it's about. I just know that before it came out, I saw someone talking about it on American Booktube and I was like, that sounds good. I want to check that out. So it's sort of been on my Amazon wish list since then and again I was able to pick it up cheap off someone when they didn't want it so that was great. Um, we then have my Waterstones package which is um, two books, they're both paperbacks. I got some a Waterstones gift voucher when I finished my current job from um, the team that they decided to like, let me buy myself some books because I know I like to read. So I grabbed these two as well as some for manga I'm going to be reading today actually. Um, but that came separately. Uh, oi these out they're both adult romances oh jesus i can't get either of them out see this is why i put you at that weird angle because at least then i can get the books up <laughs> so we've got the love waiter by lynn painter i've been enjoying reading lynn painter's ya and her adult books so i thought why not get this one a go and i also got a witch's guide to fake dating a witch's guide to fake dating a demon by sarah hawley which it just looks bad it paranormal rom-com sort of thing sounds right up my alley so excited to read both of those oh i think my own tbr might now be over up to over 100 which again which is not great so we're now gonna go through the, the unexpected books which it's always fun to get them now so let's see this one i'm pretty sure is from harper 360 because i had another book from him early today and that came in packaging like this <laughs> So, uh, I might show you that one later. Um, honestly, I'm not as excited when I, it's when I requested it, so I'm kind of feeling nervous about that one now. But, yeah, let's see what this one is. Oh, yay! I forgot this would be coming with half 360. So, this is The Do Over by Suzanne Park. Uh, I can vaguely tell you what this one's about because I remember. So, the main character is a woman who has had to go back to college and she meets a guy she liked there. Okay, I can't remember what it's about, but I am on Instagram to this one. I absolutely adore Suzanne Park writing. Uh, I believe this is, it's going to be like her first UK tour, but I've like pre-ordered a bunch of her books before, like her adult books. Not her, I've enjoyed reading her YA, but I've only ordered slash pre-ordered her adult books. So I had had this one pre-ordered. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to get to know. I'm being a really bad book she wrote not knowing what the books are about. <laughs> which is not great but you know what we deal with it but i'm very excited for this one if you keep an eye on my instagram which again will be linked down below i can't remember the date for the tour but you know it's coming soon wait uh we then have this one i'm not sure what this one is uh it's from random house i believe that being said i'm not i can't double check because i'm i'll flash you my dress and like, you don't need to see my dress <laughs> Oh no, packaging's so difficult. It wants to go to the front. Hold on, I'm gonna move this away from the camera. Oh, yay! If you can if you can hear that, that that's because yes, I was kinda of worried I wasn't gonna get this one, but it's from Del Rey, it's Fee Flyer Lady by Oh yeah, Destiny Soria, so but writing as DL Soria this time. I've read and enjoyed her YA as soon as I saw about this one. It's kind of fairy tale-y, but you know, it's just happily ever after is a total scam, at least to some Princeton's control. Uh, I'm really excited to read this one. It just, it looks so good. It looks right up my alley. Oh, yes. It's so pretty as well. Look, look at that. So I'm going to have to get a photo of that for Instagram for sure. And then the final one, which I can guess what it is. I'm not going to say in case I'm wrong. But considering the business name on the side makes me think it must be this book. And I didn't think I was going to be getting this. So it's safe to say I am very, very pleased again. Let's see. Let's see what it is. it is! Yes! The sun and the void. Let me unwrap you. Um, I was part of the cover reveal for this one, so I put my name down to then also get an arc because it sounds so good. 
<laughs> it sounds so good. Look, it's so pretty. I'm just like, oh my god, all the beautiful, amazing books I've gotten today. This is such a good book. I've rarely been getting books now recently, including like books I bought because I can't really afford to buy them. So <laughs> today has made me really happy, though I feel for the postman had to bring them because, whoops. Uh, again, <laughs> I'm not sure off the top of my head what this one's about. It does say, yeah, uh, South American folklore. It's a fantasy. It's been published by Daphne Press, which is why I guess because the label said Illumicrate and I know I've not ordered anything from Illumicrate. So it then suddenly hit me what it could be. And yes, yes, Black Crow PR would have, it would have been through Black Crow PR. Black Crow PR, we'll get it. Right, anyway. Uh, again, it sounds so good. Um, I really wish I could use better summaries, but my brain is kind of dead. All I kind of want to do is watch my concert and read some manga. So... <laughs> Maybe I'll get back to you another time with what these books are actually about, but they're all very like, good. Well, I'm assuming. They sound really good, so I do recommend checking them out and hitting pre-order if they sound up your alley. Apart from the ones I bought, which are obviously already out. So, yeah. Um, I guess it's time to start reading. <laughs> Move my book out of the way. Hold on. Oh, you can't see it. There we go. <laughs> I've got my drink, I've got my manga. I am ready to sit in the corner of the sofa with the dog and have a read. So I will catch up with you in a little while when I have a thought on the book. And yeah, then hopefully you'll see some things like concert stuff. I might do some shelf reorganization. I might show you some of my anime idol merch I've got upstairs because I've got some really cool stuff. Um, my CD collection maybe, but they're kind of spread out right now. Uh, but yeah, let's just, let's talk about idols. I live for him. The world is meant to revolve around your favourite idol. Is it? Is it really? Oh no. Clearly I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I'm just a sad it's spike. Okay, so I finished chapter one and yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it, it's still a bit cringe. There's a whole bit where um when they've switched bodies for the first time and she needs to go to a toilet when she's in his body and she's like, I can't touch you. And there's like, okay, you need the toilet? Like, I'll admit, I think I found it a little bit less cringy this time than I did last time because I kind of relate a bit more. Yeah, not, if that makes sense, because obviously I'm mostly like animated idols, but I'd still go to those animated concerts and I'd adore to go to like one for CE concerts, like with the voice actors, like I would go insane. Um, and I, yeah, I do, you know, spend a lot of money on, on merch and things like that because look, look at my boys, look, I have a few of these. Um, so I do probably get it a bit more when, than when I first read this because I still liked Armstars, I still liked Utapri, I still liked Idlish 7, I was still curious about Hit Mike. So it's not like I didn't like that stuff but I wasn't as into it, it was more kind of pick it up on and off kind of thing um, compared to the last like two years or so I guess possibly but I've suddenly gotten really into it. Um, so I guess I relate a bit more now to, uh, what's her name, Azusa? Something like that. I can't Literally, I've just put it down. I really can't remember. My memory is really bad today, if you can't tell. Um, but I'm having fun with it. And I'm kind of shipping Chica with one of his um, <laughs> idol bandmates, which makes sense to me. Sounds about right. Um, even though I know it's not going to happen. Uh, but it does seem like something's hinted in one of the later volumes, so that makes me very excited. Uh but yeah, um, I probably, unless something pops up, I probably won't tell you my thoughts until I finish this first volume. But actually, so far, so good. It's not a favourite, but I think I could like it more than I originally thought I was going to when I read the first volume. So that's good. Oh no, he's screwing up. Oh no. <laughs> we all love our favourite items accidentally kiss on a set of an interview. <laughs> I ship it for. <laughs> okay, so I have now finished volume one. And you know what? I think I liked it more this time than I did last time. I think I gave it three stars last time. I don't usually rate Manka like that. But you know what? So this is probably a four star rate. I did have a good time. It definitely has some cringy moments. But 
to be fair, some of those cringy moments are kind of similar to what I've got on in um, what what face does Tam and Kung have now, or Tam and Kung's being cut aside, which is going to be cool when it comes out in English later this year. I think October, November. Definitely pre-order that one, guys, because it's so, so good. There's no, like, paranormal elements in that one or body switching or anything like that. It's just a really good uh, fan slash idol manga that I'm really enjoying reading in Japanese, and I'm really excited to get it in English. So, some yeah, some of the fan moments are similar in this. So, I think I was a little less bothered this time. It's still a bit, like, really when it's like, oh, you know have a bath okay we have to cover your eyes and i have to wash your body i don't know she's like in his bed like i can't touch your part it's like but at the same time she's having a nosebleed when he touches her and things like that it's (laughs) it's a bit odd it's a bit cringe i'm not a huge fan of that but i'm liking other things i'm liking the character relationships i'm definitely curious about chica and harry's relationship because like he doesn't obviously doesn't call him harry coon um so it's like they can't be that close yet at the same time they seem almost like it so i know no romance is gonna happen that i know i can dream and i'm not gonna lie i did kind of go on one of the dunchy sites i buy from and have to look to see if there are any fan work of this of them but there weren't any and i tried the english and the japanese name so and there's not even really much if i search on tumblr for the series in general so there is that sadly but um i'm honestly i am having a good time this time so i am glad i gave this series a second chance and i've got them all to read so yeah i guess i will move on to volume two now and i will let you guys know my thoughts when i have some Apologise for how blue this is. I just wanted to show you guys some of the, the DVD is just very blue and screaming. I just wanted to show you guys one of my favourite moments. Highly recommend you guys go listen to the song Little Romance if you're all curious. It's so, so good. Definitely worth it. I just can't play any of it because Happy Evans and the copyright me. Look, Asa Shin, and look, Masami's little wave, and then, and, and wait a minute, wait a minute. It's so cute. They're always my favourites, so this is just, and they're friends in real life, so it's so cute. It's like, no, 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 I love it. Yeah, I'm a very, very sad person. Um, <laughs> Rayo! Oh, cute. Yes, definitely listen to this song, guys. Okay, so I finished volume two. And yeah, the cringe stuff kind of continues. There's more it's stuff with baths this time. And just... I don't know. I'm just... I guess this can be quite common in body swap in general, and it's not something I like. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I'd be like if I was something in a hot guy's body. Like, whether I'd be like, ooh, but it just, it's like, you need to do these things anyway. I know it's not your body, but provided you're going to be respectful, what does it matter? Uh, But then Azusa's kind of like, she was kind of weird taking selfies in the bath. Like, not of anything private, it's just a bit odd and yeah i'm still still not a huge fan of that and um oh what is what is the neighbor boy's name it's for something oh hold on because there's a character bit in there somewhere for me for me that's it um like he's a bit cringe and uncomfortable and creepy as well uh as a potential side love interest like uh, it's a bit difficult because like yeah he likes her too it's like you're not exactly going to be cheering for him with some of the things he says. It's Chica has it right when he tells him um, to um, not say that to her because she'll run a while. Because, yeah, she should. Um, but it's not like Chica's not Chica. Azusa's not like that creepy with Chica even. It's a bit odd. Um, but yeah, um, <laughs> there's a scene near the end though. Parry and Chica and I'm like, well, technically it's Azusa because she's still in his body. But um, yeah, I'm... Yep. <laughs> definitely here for it just the fujiwoshi slipping and just the fujiwoshi i'm sorry i'm not sorry um but yeah you know what i actually have enjoyed this it's not taking me long to read i didn't think it would so even though i've actually now got some rp replies i could do which i am kind of excited to get to i think i'm definitely going to continue reading this and finish it and i'll just focus on reading my novel tonight and i can maybe get this vlog up not updated edited later or something we'll see i might leave that till tomorrow but yeah, actually, I'm having a good time. I really am glad I gave it a second chance. So now on to volume three. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. 
Okay, so volume three finished. My favourite cover, obviously. Um, yeah, I did. I did enjoy this one. There was a bit less of a cringe, I think. I'm, they're already starting to blend together. I'm pretty sure there was less cringe in this one, though. Um, apart from the whole jealousy thing starting to happen. Um, yeah, the one main thing I think that would be kind of cringe wasn't because like they were both sick, so it kind of made sense. So, yeah, you know what? Um, I, I'm still really enjoying the like Chica and Harry dynamic, and then Azusa being like on the side of it. I mean, I don't usually like love triangles, but I do. The only problem is I know that this side I like isn't gonna end with it. I keep saying it, but it makes because it's not, but. It makes me so sad. I actually think there's less heroin in the next volume. I've kind of flipped through and I didn't see as much of him. So that sucks. But yep, I'm on to the final volume. Woo! I've had to move reading spots for the fang volume but yeah i have finished it um not gonna lie not huge fan of the ending it wasn't i don't want to spoil things so it's hard to say i guess it technically ended romancy but didn't end like a hundred percent canon romancy if that makes sense like it seems like, oh, look, they love each other, but it's not like, it's not saying. <laughs> it's not necessarily saying they're together, but maybe it is. I don't actually know, so I could be wrong now. I guess it's read it how you like. Um, yeah, there wasn't much heroin as well. And there was one scene that just made me, it made me make weird noises. And uh, I was actually looked up for that, like, what's wrong? Like, um, nothing, just to get into a scene and it wasn't even like... I could imagine that having been the future of things could happen, right? But you know what? We're here. Never mind. But no, overall, oh, let's bring the volumes in. Let's lift the camera up to show them all. That's one. <laughs> okay. I did, I did enjoy them all. Uh, I did enjoy them more than I thought I was going to. Having all these, I kind of, I mean, I was debating earlier as well. I kind of maybe want to make an idle manga shelf. Like, I'm going to give a couple of recs in a minute. Uh, but, like, I've got... See, my most of my manga are on this shelf. Standies and stuff. Um, I've also got my manga magazines here. So I'd cleared up some space to make more room for the manga magazines. I'm, I will need that space at some point. But I've got a bunch of my Tamon Kung stuff here. Um, that calendar was there because... Uh, I have a volume in my pile, but I've been, like, standing up front to see the... Um, cover uh so maybe i might move it around make that like an idle manga shelf for now and then figure out what i want to do with that sort of books when i need the room for the rest of my manga magazine because i can't buy so many at the moment so hopefully i won't completely fill up that space like i can leave the tamon coon ones there maybe leave all three of them there because uh because tamon coon is on the side of that middle one but i might move on to the other pile because but it's not the front cover sort of thing um or the art book of that Tamon Coon. <laughs> lovely, love it. I had to buy the magazine for that. Um, so maybe, and then, like, these little standees and things, like, uh, not those ones, but, like, my Arn Stars ones over there um, could maybe go on that shelf. Maybe the little green hair and the dress that's Yuki from A3. Technically, it was an acting thing, but maybe he could go there. Don't know. I've got my little night stand there as well but that's holding the japanese manga books up so i think overall i'd probably give this manga series a four out of five i think volume three was definitely my favorite volume unsurprisingly with the cover with volume two close and then volume four and then volume one i'm still the least fan of volume one and like i said i wasn't a huge fan of the ending of volume four so yeah but probably might might get her back cover at display or something. I, just the thing is, I see people with shelves and they have like so many manga titles on display, and I'm like, I don't have room for that. It makes me sad, but maybe. Um, but yeah, so that's my thoughts on that. I don't want to take up too much more time. 
I don't know how long this video is going to be. I don't actually imagine it's going to be too long, but there's not like much B roll because I went speaking over a lot of those clips. But yeah, it, it's something. It's to give it a go. See how long it takes me to edit. So I will be doing a idol manga blog post like with recommendations. It'll probably contain these tiles. It might contain a few more. So I might even go into more detail, or I might. No, I still want to do a post. I was going to say, maybe I won't do it. I, I do want to uh, have it in written form. But the, basically, the title that picked, you know, led to me picking up Starcrossed is Phantom of the Idol. You might have seen it on Gavin's channel recently, because I kind of was like, when he was buying manga, like, you should get this one. Because <laughs> you should. This is a comedy idol, Jose, so aimed at women, uh, manga from Comic Zero Sum. Over there. Hey. Um which follows an idol and a ghost who was an idol in her life. He winds up running into her and they realise that huh, he can actually see her and she can possess him sometimes. So like he's super lazy, and doesn't actually want to do the idol work because it's hard and things. So um, she winds up possessing him sometimes and they become friends. And then there's you see a lot of the fans in it as well as some uh, another Yunga. And it's just, it's a lot of fun. I love it. I have the first three volumes and that is always out right now. I pre-ordered volumes four, five and six. So I will get them and probably read them pretty quickly when I do. I'm very much enjoying this series. An old one with more paranormal elements is Full Moon. I do not know how easy this is to get. I mean, I have been getting them secondhand apart from this volume one, which I have literally had since I was a teenager. <laughs> The price is the price is worn off, but it was probably something like five to ninety nine back then. Sob. Um, in this, we follow a young girl called Mitsuki, who is basically dying. She has some sort of throat illness, but her dream has always been to be a singer and also to re-meet a boy that she knew when she was little, but she was in love with. And basically, as she's dying, she meets two Shinigami, Takuto, and I can't remember the girl's name off the top of my head, but um, yeah, no, I can't remember. And basically, they grant her a chance, but for a year, she'll be able to live for this year and she'll be able to take on a form of an older girl who can sing. So she sort of becomes this singer, um, you know, is having her dreams. It's by Oringa Tanamura, who is one of my favourite mangaka. Like, I don't say I have many favourite mangaka because it's like I have lots of favourite series, but there's not many artists that I'll go, oh yeah, if I see a manga book by them, I know it's going to be good. And Oringa Tanamura is one of those and has been since I was a teenager. So there we go. We also have Osan Idol, basically Uncle Idol. Um, this is a manga book following a group of middle-aged men as they try to become idols. It's as simple as that. The main character has recently lost weight and is now sort of becoming this dream, you know, becoming an idol, becoming amazing. It, I've only read the first one as well. Like I do really need to get volume two at some point. It's published by Tokyo Pop, but it's a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Finally, we have one that isn't actually out in English yet, that I mentioned briefly earlier. Ooh. And that is what face does Taman Kung have now, or what or Taman Kung's B side is going to be in English. Uh, I can't remember who's publishing. I think it might be Viz, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, probably because it was in Hannah Team Comics. Uh, I, I, I love this manga series. This is more of a typical contemporary idol shoujo manga, this one. Um, it follows a... Oh my god, I suddenly can't remember her name. <laughs> wow. Uh, it, it, it follows this teenage girl who's basically a massive fan of Tamon Kung uh, and his idol group. And she basically has to earn money to be able to go to his concerts and get off merchandise and things. She works part-time as a cleaner. She gets a new cleaning job one day. And what finds out, shockingly, it's his flat. He doesn't just share a name. So she winds up meeting the real him, finding out he's kind of gloomier and less confident than she thought. And she winds up basically giving him a lot of support and love and helping him out. And it's not quite got sort of romance levels yet, but she obviously fancies him. But it's it's a lot of cute friendship and they're helping each other out. And I've only read the first volume for a translation app. I've got volume two in a pile to read sometime soon. And I own volume three and four as well. I actually pre-ordered volume four. I have pre-ordered volume five. Um, as well as volume one in English, obviously. I'm really enjoying this series though. And when this one comes out, I do highly recommend getting it. The art is stunning. The characters are cute. It's just... It'll give you all feels. I also want to give a brief shout out to another one I own. I've not actually started yet. This is another one I pre-ordered and got recently. And that is my special one. I can't remember much of a plot other than that I know this main girl basically gets shot down by a guy she likes. So she's like, no, no guys. And then she meets this idol guy. And when he thinks he's fan, 
she gets annoyed and um, because of that reaction he's like well no now I want to try and get to know you and obviously it's going to wind up being a romance between the two of them I'm not a huge fan of the art but it sounds fun I just I just yeah <laughs> I like idol manga with boy idols in more I do have like some with girl idols but I'm more into the boy idols but that does actually remind me and give me a bit of a note when I it's not like important it just amused me we're in obviously in volume one and you're at the concert and Prince for you are just like welcome to our secret party princess and it's like just flashed me tonight because I guess somewhat similar aesthetic plans sort of like they're princes and all the knights it's a king and you know king and queen and knights and that's more chess memes and all that but still like they call their they call their fans princesses so i'm like okay okay i can relate to what it's be called a princess it's funny when you see guy fans of knights like i don't mind being called by a princess by you it's just hilarious so <laughs> yeah that was a lot of fun um i would maybe show you my shelf reorganization but let's face it i can't be bothered with that right now i'll probably do that later um i'm probably gonna try and edit this video tonight or if not sometime soon we'll see um thanks for coming along and watching i hope it was at least somewhat entertaining i at least had a very good time reading the manga so even if nothing comes of this at least i finally read it and i did have such a fun time with it i highly recommend checking out those idol manga series i also highly recommend checking out ensemble stars at least go onto youtube and search nights and listen to some of their music recommend night night wow recommend night songs either little romance or fight for judge as for like best songs but like listen to any of them there's other groups too like alkaloid undead there are two others i like akatsuki crazy b i don't not fan of fine you know there's lots of different groups with different aesthetics out there so at least give it a go i have to mention it i did debate maybe screen recording me playing some of the game today but i was like i couldn't play any of the songs so i'm not sure there's much point even though i could show the cute office on my home screen but I can't be bothered. So <laughs> maybe another time. Maybe another time. I hope, like I said, I hope you've all enjoyed this. I hope you either enjoy other content or maybe maybe you're a little bit curious. Either way, comment down below to let me know your thoughts on this. And I will see you if, well, if and when I make another video about who knows what we'll know. We'll find out. Okay, thanks. Bye.